Oh, Barracuda, Barracuda. Made it out to Ponce Inlet. It's a nice day, calm day. Walking out the pier, we're gonna see what's happening with all the anglers out here. And here's our first one we're gonna ask. Good luck. Spanish back. Okay. Further down? Right here. Oh, just right here? Yeah, just right here. Monday was a little bit better. Right now it's kind of slow. Oh, it kind of slowed down. Uh, pick it up again. Oh, I was good. Now the wood pier turns into a concrete pier with uh, rails on either side. But we're walking out, you gotta walk out to the end. There's gonna be rocks on the other side. The north side is the ocean, the south side is the inlet, and of course you can see New Summer Beach on the other side. But just checking out what people are doing. And as we're walking, we're gonna ask some anglers and see. This guy is catching something right here. Big first one? No. Got a few. Oh yeah? Little small guy though. Yeah, I don't even know if he's a keeper. I'm gonna check right now. They running out there, or just a few of them? Uh, yesterday they were running a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, yesterday um, I I got my limit at the very end. I got I caught three at the end earlier, and now I just switched here, getting ready to leave little by little. You know, oh, making gotcha. my way out. What is the limit? Uh, limit is 15. Ah, oh, 15. Wow. It has to be 12 to the four. Yeah, this is a keeper. Still walking down the pier, the concrete pier. We're gonna go down here and see what other anglers are doing. Off the rocks, you can get uh, sheep's head, you can get, I've seen people get reds, um, Spanish mac as we saw, and other fish. I don't know. Anything? No, I'm just messing around. Okay, I've got probably 10 casts maybe. Oh, really? I've seen them catch a couple sheep's head down there. Oh, really? Yeah. I gotta climb over this rail here. You love that reel, don't you? Huh? You love that reel, don't you? Yeah. Well, oh yeah. I love uh, them. Oh yeah, they're yeah. great reels. Yeah. Got the four, the five, the six, the eight, and the ten. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't have that many yet. I have two of the same kind. Nice, though. I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill those reels. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, good luck. We we'll catch you. Thanks. Now we're out at the rocks. Now we got to walk pretty far. Um, it actually, when you're looking at it, it seems somewhat flat, but it's a little bit more treacherous when you're actually doing it than when you're actually uh, looking at it from a video. So I don't know if Crocs are the best shoes to walk out there with, but uh, that's what I used uh, just to keep my feet protected. But I don't think they're the best shoes to walk out there with either. Um, I wouldn't use thin shoes as far as getting out there. I would use something that has a good grip. And you can see these low uh -huh. parts. And they're interesting, these low parts. So the way. tide's going out right now. So you can actually cross this location. And time. also the um, the ocean, I mean, it's not very, it's, it, it's pretty mellow right now. It, it's not rough or anything like that. So if it was, if it was rough, you would have waves splashing against the rocks and hitting you all the time. I mean, you could go to either one side. You can see some of these uh, uh, gentlemen up here, they're fishing on the inlet pier or um, uh, on the ocean side, but mainly on the inlet side. And as you can see, if the tide starts coming in and you actually don't move in before that tide comes in, you're kind of stuck. Maybe further down it's more bluefish, I don't know. You're kind of stuck till um, that tide goes down or you're swimming, one of the two. Um, I, I guess you could probably get through the rocks, but it's going to be a very treacherous. Ah, I see turtle, see turtle. Come on, pretty. Which one is, I need to change this one. I may do, I may put a spoon on it by this side. Okay. So I'm trying to determine which side to use or which side to fish, actually. I think because there's a flat rock, but you know, I got to set everything down and throw stuff out. So let's see how will we do. My wife's first cast. All right, she's got her line on the water, just waiting. The water's actually really clear. So you can actually see some of the fish down there. Um, I didn't see any blue at first but she saw some blue swimming around down there. Oh, blue fish here, right here, blue fish, blue fish, I see. Yeah. I didn't see it at first, but she did. It's a blue, right there. And based on the video that uh, our friend took, um, the blues are supposed to be actually out here around these rocks. Um, 
and they laid their eggs down here. So you could see them pop up and go down every once in a while. Oh, they took it. Took it. Oh, they took it? They took the first bait. They took it. Now I gotta try to put the bait on better. Did you see him take it? Yeah. Now I gotta try to put it on. Try to put it on Will, so... Um, Should be fine. It's clear, be fine. so you can kind of see him take the bait. And uh, hopefully it's yep. on better this time, so okay. she'll have better luck uh, when she casts out. Uh, you don't have to cast out very far, because like I said, they're right around there, around, uh, around the rocks. But you gotta be careful, you don't want to get caught in the rocks either. So she's casting out for her second time. And see, like I said, you, you can see them swim by and look at the bait. And she's got one. We got one right here. She's got one on the line. We're going to try to get it. We're going to try to pull it up. Unfortunately, we're on the rock, so it's kind of tough. Oh! 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 I'm going to have to put a different one on. Well, we had something. We lost it. We didn't bring our net down here, but... And we're gonna try again. <laughs> try again, try again, try again. Yeah, I need to change it. All right, so I'm putting a steel lead on now because that guy took it off. So we're gonna put a steel lead on and get it back out in the water and see what we can do. So I'm just making one real quick. And hopefully it won't get caught. That's what I'm hoping, but we'll see what happens. I forgot my net, we should have brought a net, but yeah, well, it, it is what it is. Thank you. You get it? I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. There you go. Oh. Uh, ah, you didn't put uh, weight. Huh? It's no weight. Yeah, she was right. I forgot the weight. But to be honest, you really didn't need much weight um, out here. You could actually put the finger mullet on and just lay it out there in the water because the bluefish are close enough to the rocks you that you didn't need a lot of weight if you needed any weight at all, especially with the finger mullet on the end. But we did put weight on the end just so we'd have it so we'll go down a little bit deeper. You can see this gentleman over here, he's trying to get the one. Now he didn't use much weight. He was using finger mullet as well, but he didn't use much weight on his. And to run down there, I was gonna run down there to help, but to run down on these rocks, sometimes you have to be quick. You get it? No, no, no. It's, maybe he needs help? Almost, ah, oh, good jump. Nice job. Like I said, the water's pretty clear here. And if you look closely, you'll actually see the, the blue swim by. See the arrow? See it right there? So they're up close to the rocks and you just have, really have to drop your bait down there and just wait. And they'll come up. You can see them almost trying to grab it right there. And watch, she has a, a finger mullet in there. And watch, oh, so she's got it and they'll let it go. See, it took it, it took it, and it took oh. half of it. It took the bottom half. Watch, the slow-mo, watch it. It takes the bottom half and then lets it go. You can see it right there. But she puts it back in. And then she moves it around. Watch, it'll come back up. It'll come back up. Oh, there it is, there it is. So now I got it. Now I got it. So all you had to do was put your line in the water. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, what is it? No, 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 no. What is it? Here. Hold on. Uh, go, go get the uh, net. Hold on. Just in case. Yeah. 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 Careful. Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh, no. Hold on. What, what? You drop your phone? Oh, you, you drop your phone? Yeah. Huh? He, he dropped his phone. Wait, you see it? No. It's gone. 
Here's where I dropped my phone. It's in slow motion. I don't know if you can see it, but this is where I dropped it. It's down in those tracks, Mom, but it's way down. It's not. Do you have insurance for a phone? Yes. I gotta get another phone. Oh, here. Hold on, what's back? Get this guy out and get his net. Can you run this net back? Yeah. Well, I turned it. Do you want to have me? Oh, what? Uh, I'll go put it, okay? Uh -huh. What? One minute? All right. It's coming. It's coming right now. Oh, we tried to eat the other one. Oh, oh. Barracuda. Oh, Barracuda, Barracuda. Oh, they have to get, get, get. Wow. Oh. Barracuda, kill it off. Barracuda. Oh. Wow. Woo. Appreciate that, okay? Barracuda took peace. Look at that, a barracuda took a chunk out of this blue he was trying to catch. We got one, so we're good, so we'll probably take off here soon, but we're having a good day. Um, you can see this guy out there, or they're out there just throwing, because there's a school of bluefish right there, and, and watch this guy. He'll just catch one and flip it into the boat. There he goes, right there. So there's more fish around us. We're going to keep trying. Oh. What? Nice, nice. You get it? Yeah. Maybe he needs help. Nice, nice. This means it can be uh, yeah, another yeah. fish here. Oh, but that's a bunch of flowers. Is it what? Oh! All right, my wife gets out again. I'm gonna wait. Hopefully we'll get lucky here. Oh, you can see the boats up and down and they're following the, the bluefish will, in schools will come up and down and you can see the boat boats move down with them and move back up with them so they come and go back and forth yeah. but it was nice to be out there fishing and you can see the tides actually starting to come in now and we're starting to move back oh well, back to the uh the um the pier we are leaving we gotta try to make it back against the rocks I gotta carry this thing back. We gotta get back. Let's go. We're having a good time. It was a good time, but it's time to go. As you can see, it's a little bit treacherous. And like I said, the crocs, they're not that good, especially when the rocks are a little bit wet and it's slippery. And trying to carry a fish and everything back, it's not easy. And you're gonna have to step on a rock underneath the water. Wow. It's more difficult. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Let me get my shoe. Oh. I'm all right. Got the fish. Man, just as I thought, I bit it trying to. I fell into the rocks trying to get back with the fish, and this. I don't wear crocs. How's your leg? Looks fine. I got a Carrying this thing is hard. Our $1,200 fish. All right, taking off. I made it. I didn't break a leg or break a foot. On our way out. No, I just threw the whole thing out. Oh, it's live bait. Not live. Just it's dead, but just oh, okay. the whole night I didn't cut enough. Okay, thanks, man. All right. We're done for the day. We had a good time. We lost two. I didn't use, well, actually I used the seal lead one time, but it got hooked on the rocks and so I had to cut it off. So I just used mono uh, leads from then on and just finger mullet and it worked great. So the, the bluefish would come down and then we just put our poles in the water um, and they would just try to grab it at that time. We lost two and then we got one but the one we were trying to get my cousin was calling me so he was calling me and uh i was trying to get the net and i dropped the phone in the water and it went under the rocks so i don't have my phone anymore so it's off to at t to get another phone but we had a great time fishing and if you go out to the near the end of the rocks it's not you don't have to go all the way to to the end but just kind of go closer to the boats and then you'll see the the big old blues are near the rocks uh, they're laying their eggs near the rocks and uh, um, you can go out there cast use finger mullet um, I saw people using lures uh, they were working so 
I think anything and most everything is kind of working if you go out there and you get in where the school is. So until next time, have a great evening.